a movie. Let's head now this morning to the uh, editorial coordinator and film critic for HollywoodChicago.com. Patrick McDonald is back with us. Hey, Patrick, good morning. Hello. Good morning, Baker. Be safe, be healthy. Hold over there. Let's go to the movie. Well, now the other half. Priscilla. The other half. Priscilla. Opening wide in theaters tomorrow, November 3rd. This is a highly anticipated biography film of Priscilla Presley by the noted cult filmmaker Sophia Coppola, of course, lost in translation. Mm -hmm. And it's the opposite view of last year's Elvis. Up-and-coming actor Kaylee uh, Spaney is Priscilla, portraying her from the first meeting with Elvis, Jacob Elordi, to the last days of their marriage. The shy girl was all 14 years old when she first met the king of rock and roll in 1959 while he was at the height of his fame and in the army. And they had a pretty bizarre courtship from there, consisting mostly in waiting for Scylla to come of age. They were married in 1967, but their connection, as depicted in the film, was never strong. As the Las Vegas years began in the 1970s, the marriage of Elvis and Scylla was unraveling. Now, my problem with the film was just that I know too much about Presley and his life, having read three major biographies. Elvis was not a stable human being, and like many similar folks, through his mon- monumental fame, he thought he had a free pass, as most of us know by now. So the revelations that he couldn't connect to his teenage girlfriend, later wife, wasn't exactly surprising What was interesting was the point of view that no matter who an individual is, damaged goods are damaged goods, and unfortunately Priscilla was not emotionally equipped to handle it until she was. Now, Spadey was a tentative Priscilla and didn't give her much depth, which which was the point, I guess, but I wasn't connected to her performance. Jacob Elordi as Elvis was pretty darn good, not as great as Austin Butler in the last year's biopic, but his role was different, and he delivered. The whole desperate relationship resided in Heartbreak Hotel. Priscilla, three and a half out of five in theaters, November 3rd. 